below. This session is all about number bonds to 10, that is the pairs of numbers that add together to make 10. So for this session, you are going to need a coat hanger, 10 clothes pegs, 10 double-sided counters, and I've made my own counters by using 10 pennies, and on each penny, I have painted a red dot on one side with some nail varnish and a purple dot on the other side. But you could make your own counters out of paper or perhaps you've got some at home that you could use. We're also going to need a 10 frame which you can download from our school website or you can simply draw your own on a piece of paper. So we're going to start off with our 10 frame and we're going to put our 10 pennies or 10 counters on the 10 frame, all with the same colour pointing up. Now we're going to start to investigate our number bonds to 10, the pairs of numbers that add together to make 10, by turning over different numbers of pennies to see the two pairs of numbers that total 10. So here I've turned over just one penny, so I've got nine red pennies and one purple penny. So I've got 9 and 1, and that makes 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10. If I turn over another penny, I've now got 8 red pennies and 2 purple pennies. So 8 and 2 total 10. 8 add 2 equals 10. Now I've turned over a third penny. So this time I've got 7 red pennies and 3 purple pennies. 7 and 3 make 10. 7 plus 3 equals 10. Now why don't you pause the video here and investigate all the different number bonds that you can find that make 10 using your pennies and your 10 frame. Welcome back. Now our next task involves using the coat hanger. So I've got my coat hanger here and I'm going to put on my 10 pegs. Now to investigate number bonds here, I'm going to slide the pegs along my coat hanger. So to begin with, I'm going to move one peg along there. So on the left hand side, I've got nine pegs and on the right hand side, I've got one peg. So nine and one makes 10. Nine plus one equals 10. Now I'm sliding across another peg, so this time I've got eight pegs on one side, two on the other side. I've still got ten pegs all together, so eight and two makes ten. Eight plus two equals ten. Eight and two are number bonds to ten. Now why don't you pause the video here, use your coat hanger and pegs to investigate number bonds yourself. And if you move one peg at a time, you'll be using a systematic approach and that way you'll be, be able to find every single pair, every pair of number bonds that make 10. So now we've investigated our number bonds using our 10 frames and our pennies and our coat hanger and our pegs. We're now going to represent our number bonds using part part whole diagrams. So we had 10 pennies to begin with, or 10 pegs, and we split them up in different ways. So first of all, with my pegs, I had 9 pegs on one side and 1 peg on the other side. So 9 and 1 total 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10. 9 and 1 are number bonds to 10. Then, using my systematic approach, the next number bonds that I found was 8 and 2. So 8 and 2 are number bonds to 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. Now, if you kept going in a systematic way, eventually you would have slid across all of your pegs, leaving no pegs, zero pegs on the left-hand side and 10 on the right hand side. 0 and 10 are number bonds to 10. 0 plus 10 equals 10. 
Now, why don't you pause the video again and use your part part whole diagrams to show your number bonds to 10 and use your coat hanger, your pegs, your 10 frame and your pennies to help you with this. So today we have investigated our number bonds to 10 using our tens frame. We've used the coat hanger and pegs and we've also shown them using our part part whole diagram. Now we're just going to have a go at writing some number sentences, some calculations to show our number bonds. So in the three pictures here, they all show eight and two making 10. So I could write this down as a calculation, as a number sentence like this. Eight add two equals 10. Now why don't you pause the video here and have a go at writing down all of your calculations, all of your number sentences to show the number bonds to 10. So today we've been looking at number bonds to 10. That is the pairs of numbers that add together to make 10. And knowing your number bonds can really help you when doing addition and subtraction. So it's great to practice, practice, practice so that you know them forwards, backwards and inside out. And one way to do that is to play number bond tennis. So we're going to have a game now. So I'm going to say a number and you're going to reply with the number bond that goes with it to make 10. OK, here we go. Five. Six. Two. Nine. Ten. I hope you got on OK with that. Now, why don't you go away and practice your number bonds and have a game of number bond tennis with somebody at home. Good luck with your number bonds.